Well, today I do have the, the privilege to provide the audience with a honorary lecture, which I called um, Thinking Globally, Acting Locally or Vice Versa. Because um, for me as medical oncologist, being given the opportunity to give this honorary lecture, it is clearly about the interaction of, between local treatment and systemic treatment, between local control of metastasization or local tumors and the overall oncolo oncology prognosis. And there are many of these interactions which we just start to understand by the biological definition, by the tumors, by the microenvironment, but also by the immune system. And I think all of these will help us to understand better which patients are really great candidates for local treatment with a vision to global control of the disease. Today I'll talk about summer ablation therapy for lung cancer patients. And so recently various types of summer ablation therapy are available. Uh, which ablation therapy do you perform? This question is very difficult. Uh, operators select some summer ablation modalities depending on some factors. Participants expect me to show the evidence, advantage, disadvantage, clinical results of each modalities to help their selection. So in my lecture today, I will focus on ablation of liver metastasis from colorectal cancer. And uh, we will focus on different factors that can influence the outcome of the treatment uh, based on size, based on number, and of course, based on uh, location of the lesion, based on the minimal ablation margins and so on. So in today's paediatric session, we've got a really broad range of topics from a really international faculty. My talk's going to focus on the simpler aspects of what we're trying to deliver. So how to nuance the environment in the IO suite to make it safer for children, how to bring radiation dose down so that we can keep those parameters really as tight as possible. And thirdly, thinking about how to nuance the wider aspects of our practice, such as our clinic and consent processes to make them as pediatric and family friendly as we can. This is the first time that the CIO meets the surgical uh, uh, oncological society. So we'll get a session together where we will share experience, the recent developments of uh, liver surgery and the benefits of IO combined with liver surgery. So in my lecture, I will focus on the combination of interventional oncology techniques and liver transplantations. How do you manage patients with liver cancer before a liver transplantation? Should we treat? Should we not treat? Does it impact liver transplant techniques and results? In this session today on lung tumors, we will see a special format. We will not see only frontal lectures, we will see keynote presentations followed by case-based discussions in a multidisciplinary panel. And this makes it very interesting because we've seen a lot of uh, progress, tremendous progress in the field of um, biomarker-driven therapies, but also in immunotherapies. But um, I think it is quite important to integrate uh, local ablative techniques in multidisciplinary treatment. So I'm really looking forward how to do this in a combined manner. <laughs>